Hey everyone, and welcome back to another post from r slash Entitled Parents, a subreddit where people post stories of moms or dads who think that because they have kids, they're entitled to everything. Today's post, Entitled Mother Tries to Take My Wheelchair for Entitled Kid at Disney World Thinking It Was Rented and She Gets Charged. Okay, for a bit of a backstory, I have a disability to where I can walk, but not far without excruciating pain. I went to Disney with my family over the summer. It was very fun until halfway through our trip when Entitled Mother and Entitled Kid enters. So, my family and I were on vacation in Disney for a week. We were having a wonderful time until Wednesday. We were at Animal Kingdom and in line for Cali Rivered Rapids. Enters Entitled Mother, Entitled Kid, and the poor father. All of a sudden, Entitled Mother starts talking nonsense. Entitled Mother. Hi, can my son please borrow your wheelchair to sit in? My mother. I'm sorry, our daughter has to sit there. She can't walk well and it will hurt her to walk. Entitled mother. It's not that far. She can walk it off. Mother. If she can, you know, then your son can too. Entitled mother ain't having it. Entitled mother. Just give me the goddamn wheelchair! My sisters and I couldn't believe the utter foolishness this lady had in her. My dad. This is a theme park for kids. Don't swear in front of children. Entitled mother. I will report you to the wheelchair rental service. They will take yours away. My dad. Go ahead. This is our wheelchair. They can't take it. Entitled mother is very upset, but doesn't speak for the duration of the wait for the ride. We thought this was the end of it, oh, but no, it gets worse. My family decided to split up because my mom and I love roller coasters, and I haven't ridden Expedition Everest in years. We get in line, and it turns out Entitled Mom and Entitled Kid were following us. Poor Dad wasn't there, so I assumed he didn't want to ride the coaster. I say that Entitled Kid was maybe six to seven, so I didn't know if he would be okay to let him ride because I would have been terrified to ride that ride at that age. Here is round two of this idiotic lady's rampage. Entitled mother. Hi again. Is it okay if we go ahead of you? His dad's waiting for us and we have a fast pass. My mother. I'm sorry, but from the way you treated us earlier, I could care less if you missed your fast pass. Entitled kid. I need to sit in the wheelchair. My legs hurt. Entitled mother, let us through now, or give me the wheelchair. Me. Look, lady, I have to sit in this chair. He can't just sit in it with me. Entitled mother then pushes me out of the wheelchair and shoves her kid in it. She then tries to leave, but other guests don't allow her as they're watching this unfold. Just then, a security guard comes and assesses the situation because he heard the commotion. Security guard. What is going on here? Entitled mother, these two people are trying to steal my wheelchair. Security guard, to my mother, is this true? My mom, no, this woman stole our wheelchair that my daughter needs. Bystanders start telling the cop what had happened. Entitled mother, they're lying. I rented this wheelchair out for my son who is disabled. That was the sentence that caused her to ruin her vacation. Security guard. Okay, I'll have to take this woman into custody until further notice. Entitled mother thinking she'd won. What? But I did nothing wrong! Security guard, you just lied to an officer. This wheelchair doesn't belong to the park, so it must belong to them. Eventually, the security guard and his friends asked if we wanted to press charges. We said yes, and charged her for assault. After that, my mom and I enjoyed the ride until the rest of the family would happen. They were dumbfounded. And we still laugh to this day. That is just messed up. It's already at least the fourth story that I have heard where an entitled mother forcefully takes a wheelchair from a disabled person. That's just incredibly horrible. I hope the kid won't grow up doing the same because that makes me quite angry. Forcefully taking it from a person who literally needs it makes me wonder what is going inside of some entitled mother's head that makes it think, oh, Here's a literal disabled person, but because I want the wheelchair, I'm going to yell at them, accuse them of stealing it, call them a bitch, and then probably injure them just to get the item I want that I have no need for. 
Entitled Mother's logic is messed up. Yeah, but it is really scary image when you think about how the Entitled Mother is willing to physically hurt a disabled person just to take their wheelchair. Disabled people already have to do things different in some situations, and this could make it even worse. It was a few months ago, and I don't remember well, but I think Entitled Mother thought I was just faking, which is why she pushed me out of the wheelchair to prove it. This reminds me of the time my brother dressed up as Superman for Halloween. Some drunk lady came up and screamed how offensive it was and proceeded to try and push him out of his wheelchair, only to realize then he was in fact a quad. She got thrown out of the bar. This was also the year after Christopher Reeve broke his neck. They both had the same break. What a stupid entitled mother. Not just the horribleness of pushing someone out of a wheelchair, but a giant business like Disney stamps their name on everything that's company property. So if the wheelchair was really a rental, it still wouldn't justify their behavior, but the security officer would at least easily see the Mickey Mouse ears or logos all over the chair if it were one of the rentals. We went to Disney World for my brother's Make-A-Wish trip. When that happens, they give you all the works, and people aren't happy about it. We had fast passes, and of course my little brother, who's only three years old, had a wheelchair with him. This lady kept following us and muttering about her legs hurting behind us in lines and such. Finally, my grandma turned around and went ballistic after an hour of her complaining, hoping we'd give her the wheelchair. The lady started saying my brother was faking it. He had effing leukemia and that she needs the chair. She actually tried to argue that he's young, he'll grow out of it, the exercise would be good for him, and tried to yank the wheelchair away with my brother still in it. Long story short, she got kicked out of the park and charged for attempted kidnapping. This was day one of our five day trip. These crazy idiots are everywhere at every theme park. It's like theme parks are entitled parents' magnets. The entitlement is amped up at Disney parks because somehow they think they deserve to be treated better than everyone else because they paid so much to be there. Like, apparently everyone else got in for free? I saw something similar to this years ago when I was there. Basically, a woman was trying to claim a wheelchair off of a kid so she could get the deposit check back. The wheelchair was clearly the kids and not Disney's though, as Disney ones were branded up at that time. I used to work at a wheelchair slash stroller rental years ago at Disney. Funny enough, and your story is hilarious for reasons you're probably not aware of, although I'm glad I've never had a deal with an entitled mother side of this. There is no deposit on wheelchairs. I'm now imagining a Karen screaming at one of my managers while another one steps backstage and calls security while thinking about the missing wheelchair call from earlier. What the heck? So that's today's post. Another crazy story. Please let us know your thoughts on this one. Do you have any stories of your own where someone accused a disabled person of faking it? We would love to hear your thoughts and stories in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like or a comment. It always helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to hear more and see more posts from r slash entitled parents and other subreddits when they come out on the channel, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching and for listening. If you made it this far, we'll be wrapping up each entitled parents post with a bonus video of our own little entitled daughter. Enjoy. Oh my gosh, it's a bunny! Oh, kiss the bunny. Oh, you're so sweet. Close. Open.